What is going on, brothers? It is Let Me Tell You the Name. Got a video for you. It's your title. Seven Inflicted, Part 13. Here goes. So, we all know that the goalpost is always moving. Mm-hmm. The goalpost is always moving because our opposition is duplicitous. Mm-hmm. They're a bunch of liars. And we all know that they operate from a position of deception, emotion, and gaslighting. We know that. So I found out about a week or two ago that apparently if you eat vegetables, you're fat phobic. <laughs> I'm not making that up. So apparently if you eat vegetables, you're fat phobic. If you go to the gym and work out and you're militant about staying in good health, you're fat phobic. So because these woke automatons have IQs in the double digits and they speak with emotions instead of words, they don't understand that they are saying that all of the men, women who are gay, straight, trans, who eat vegetables are fat phobic. They're also saying that all of the male, female athletes who are gay, straight, and trans are all fat phobic. <laughs> so do you see how their pathology, their madness makes them look like complete idiots? Do you see that? Do you see that all of their stage theatrics have turned them into a living, breathing meme? Do you see this? I see it. And for the most part, they have made themselves a laughing stock of Western civilization. In fact, most people don't take them serious. In fact, they'd rather leave the place or won't even talk to these individuals because all they do is deal from a position of emotion, gaslighting, and deception. People are just tired of hearing it. They're tuning them out. And this is their shenanigans backfiring on them. Mm -hmm. This is their shenanigans, their woke agenda, and their stage theatrics backfiring on them. And we're going to make sure it continues. Mm -hmm. And a good example of their agendas backfiring on them is these migrants getting bussed and flown to areas in the backyards of these individuals who are okay with immigrants entering this country. Like the individuals, the ones who landed over at Martha's Vineyard. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the individuals who are pushing this, they have to keep their mouth shut because if they really say what they want to say in regards to these migrants flooding into these cities, they will look like hypocrites and complete fucking idiots to the rest of the world. If they don't already. And I must say, all of that is self-inflicted. Mm-hmm. It's self-inflicted. The same goes for these trollops and these ditch pigs who are complaining that there are no good men or they can't snag a pit wallet. That was self-inflicted. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was self-inflicted because they got what they wanted. They changed the playing field. They tilted the playing field in regards to marriage, dating, and relationships. They got what they wanted, and now they're not happy because nobody wants to play the game. Nobody's trying to get hit fate, and nobody is trying to ruin their life jumping through these hoops. Because men worth their salt... Men with eyes and ears to hear, they see that these tribes will set high standards for the men that they hate and give it away for free for and give it away for free to the men that they want to go to bed with. Yep. That's what they're doing. Hell, even 
in the field of psychology, where a lot of these tropes have been fisted, they're now talking about psychopathic men in relationships. And their antics and how they gaslight men just proves one thing. They're guilty. Mm-hmm. These feminists are all guilty because you gotta understand something. When Ted Bundy was captured, he got a whole bunch of love, love letters and marriage requests from women. The same goes for Richard Ramirez. The same goes for Scott Peterson. The same goes for all the manner of absolute filth who go down for killing people. They love these men. They love these psychopaths. They love these toxic men. They reward these men's bad behavior with sex. They have their children. But this is their shenanigans backfiring in their face. People are tuning them out because they have reached the conclusion that these individuals are insane. They're insane and all they're doing is marching to their own self-destruction. But you can't tell them to change because if you tell them to change, then you're a nistism phobe. Mm-hmm. You're a nistism phobe. So what's going to happen is they're going to go all the way to the grave with their delusions and become rich topsoil. Mm-hmm. They're going to take their delusions and their stage theatrics and their insane agendas all the way to the grave and become rich topsoil. And they will have no one to blame for this but themselves. Because it's all self-inflicted. Mm-hmm. It's all self-inflicted, man. It's like they are poisoning. It's like a person who poisons the water and it complains they have nothing to drink. Mm-hmm. It's like those idiots. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is these trollops who are complaining the loudest about no men in relationship, like no men being found, no suitable pet wallets being found, they're responsible for those problems because they caused those problems. They've done it for over 50 years. And they complain about toxic men. I said, but they gave birth to those monsters. They gave birth to those monsters because you got to understand something. You know those bad seeds who squandered their vitality going to music festivals, doing drugs, and engaging in sex orgies? Those bad seeds had children. And they had children. And they carried their dirt all the way to the present day. And now you see them in your public schools discussing oral sex with minors. The whole thing was self-inflicted. They did this to themselves. And now their house is doomed. Their marriage rates are down. Their fertility is down. And there's nowhere for these imbeciles to go but straight to the grave and become rich topsoil. Mm-hmm. They did this. And they're not going to learn from it. They're going to keep going. But you know the routine, brothers. Life is tough, but it's tough when you're stupid. But they're going to keep doing this shit. And to be quite honest, I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I'm going to say it again. I cannot feel sorry for them because in this life, you reap what you sow. In this life, you reap what you sow and what you put out will come back to you tenfold. Hence the saying, if you plant bad seeds, you get a shitty harvest. It's not rocket science. But let them figure it out for themselves. Let them figure it out for themselves, brothers. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is Lionel McTale. That's all I got for you, brothers. Respect the video. Like, share, and comment here. Feel free to subscribe. If you're enjoying this is my channel, you find tip jar on the upper right-hand side of the screen. Next to G plus, next to G plus icon. Mm-hmm. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know it's real. You know it's in. Go away, little one. SYSPM. As for these ditch pigs. As for these trollops. As for these ham beasts. And all these degenerates who are doing their dirt to their children. And gaslighting away. Give them nothing.
This has been Retail PSA. Welcome to State. See you soon.